What's up, guys? Welcome back to Newport County Youth Academy Criminal episode number 36. This might be a short episode because we have already won the lead by a huge margin, and there's only two games left. We do have scouting reports between the matches, and we're going to be scouting Brazil, Togo, and Italy. If you want to see me scout any countries, just put them in the comments below, and I'll be doing it in the next couple episodes. But yeah, let's get into what the team's looking like, then get into the game. So we are going to run a pretty much unchanged team, because the only change is Kadaya coming in at right wing, because I just feel like he should get some more game time. But yeah, let's get into this first game and hopefully do well in it. So here we are for our first match of the episode against Bristol Rovers. And I'm pretty sure I figured out how to give players signature celebrations. So I gave all three of our attackers right now signature celebrations. And hopefully I can use them this match and Kadaya misses that shot. That's kind of sad, but it was a good attempt. Oh, they're on our goal. That's a good shot. That's a better save by Zhao. Okay, I hate the way they just cut back like this every time. That's a great save from Zhao. That's for Kodaya in bind. I don't see why not. That's for Kodaya. Burns his man. Burns another one. That's for Kodaya. Shoots it right at the goalkeeper. I do not think he's going to get a bad chance now at this match. Oh, great stuff. That's for Kodaya. He misses again. That's for Kodaya. Cannot score to save his life. Playing Tomato to Silva. Maybe we can finish. Oh my god, that's the worst strike of the bunch. It's out for a throw-in. Yeah, that's not a bad strike. All of a sudden, there's no way the keeper saved that. That's literally as top bins as you're going to get. That's an amazing save from the keeper. It's a corner in. Good header around. Not the greatest, though. Just wide of the post. Over the top. Samedo Silva. With his chance. And oh, does he take it. What a finish from Tomato to Silva. And this is his new signature celebration. I just thought, I've seen him do that celebration so much. It might as well just be his signature, you know? Defender in the way. Goalkeeper in the way. No way anyone's going to block that. And that has to be the most powerful shot we've scored this season. And we're going to take a very deserved 1-0 to zero lead. One more so. Oh. Oh my goodness. What a pass. Did he not let it touch the ground? He chested it, took another touch off the ground, and then volleyed it. We scored two in like three minutes, but look at this. I don't think it touches the ground. That is insane by Semedo da Silva. What an insane pass by Glenmore Vassell. If we play like this, there's no reason we can't get promoted from the championship next season. Oh, they're in. And what a save, but it falls right back to them. That's unlucky. I mean, it's deserved. They've been putting a lot of pressure on us, but it's just unlucky to concede. Oh, good stuff. Great cross back post. Glenn Morvacell scores his goal and does the mask celebration. I just thought it was really fitting. He's wearing a mask. He does the Dybala mask celebration. It makes perfect sense. Just look at this finish, though. Volleyed in the air right past the goalkeeper and nothing he can do about it and the crosses this match have been exquisite and the volleys have just been even better no way hit that that's a great strike but a better save and they're in good block by zoran another good block by thompson and it's out of there no it's not and they finish they make it three to two and with 12 minutes to go it's a nail biter right off a of kickoff pierre Raymond. that's a beautiful save Rui Santos, the defender lets it go. Rui Santos is in behind. And that's probably going to seal it. Rui Santos with a goal to take the game out of their reach. Rui Santos in behind, never going to miss that. And this game's all but put away now. Uh-oh. Great save by Zhao. And that's probably going to do it for this match. Or is it? They're in again. And Zhao makes another incredible save. And that's going to do it for the game. We end up beating Bristol Rovers by a scoreline of 4-2, and that was dominant. The first half wasn't the greatest, but the second half was outstanding. From the passes to the finishing, just outstanding. The defense can still use a little bit of work, but that's going to come with time. But yeah, now we got scouting reports. Let's go look at them, and then we can play the last game of the season. All right, so here we got our monthly scouting reports of May to go ahead and take a look at. And Italy starts off extremely strong three players i'm gonna go ahead and sign up can togo fall out up yes they can with a taco fall regen and brazil oh my these have been crazy but yeah let's look at the team now orchard lotus morco lenny yavorski and farkas are all coming in to play the last games for the club and i'm just happy because they are all really good players and i think they just deserve a like hero's way out or whatever it is i don't know the only play i'm not playing the only plan that i'm not gonna play that i'm selling is bernard and that's because bernard has sucked since the beginning and i don't think he deserves game time but yeah now let's get into this four screen rovers match 
Alright, so something I noticed while I was clicking on the match is I accidentally made Thompson the captain. I mean, I don't care that much, but still kind of silly that I accidentally did that. But yeah, let's try to get some of these players that are getting sold some goals. And hopefully, one last win. I'll play them over the top. Take a touch. What a touch. And what a finish. Within three minutes, Semedo da Silva makes it his game already. And we take the lead. Absolutely splendid. Blasted into the front post. And I'm pretty sure Marco got an assist in his final game. Uh-oh. Playing right through us. That's beautiful. Yep. They go ahead and equalize three minutes later with an outstanding bit of play. I'm mad they scored, but it was a beautiful goal. Uh-oh. What a save from Zhao. And Thompson just body slammed somebody. Or Orchard making a Dorothy run down the sideline. And can he pick out anybody? Maybe the Silva. The Silva somehow gets it when it's like two feet behind him and slots it into the back of that net. And Semedo the Silva makes it a brace for himself within 15. Like the cross is pretty poor, but the finish at the front post is exquisite by Semedo the Silva. If we keep going, I think we can get Semedo the Silva to the 50 goal tally. You see, he's only one away now. Hale with a you would have a strike, but good save from Burnett. Good stuff. Oh, great stuff. Morco into Semedo de Silva. That's a 23 minute hat trick. And he reaches 50 goals in this league season. That's beautiful. And just a better save from Zhao. Helms Belotus takes on his man. He is in with one man to beat. Can he do it? That is such a poor shot. And he probably just wasted his chance to get a goal in his final game. Up to Vahelms Belotus. Oh, he can maybe reach that. Yes, he can. Vahelms Belotus cannot score from there. And De Silva cannot squeak that in. Stefan Orchard, I'm pretty sure it is, is just burning his man. Can he squeak it by the goalkeeper? He cannot. What a save. Great play. Vahelms Belotus. Can he cross that back post? The Orchard. Stefan Orchard gets his goal. And it's a shame all these players have to leave, but we have to let go of the weaker players so we can probably bring in new players. Defense in shambles right now. No. There is no way that goes in. He went for the pass that was literally going to go to nobody. He got lucky with a deflection. And boom, right in the back of the net. Uh-oh. Playing a beautiful ball. But Zhao is up to the task with an amazing save. Alright, they're in behind. And McAllister, only minutes after coming on, draws the game back to only one now. Our three-goal lead is in huge danger now. No. There's... All right, good. Good save by Zhao. Though he squandered the lead there. And Gustav Farkas, the furthest man back. And we completely blew that lead. I think it's time we sub out all the players. But now it's time for the substitutions. All the players that are getting sold are getting subbed in for a new era of players. And Farkas all got sold out. I mean subbed out. But there's Kadaya. Literally, like, only a couple seconds after getting subbed in, and he misses. You can tell he's not warmed up properly because he would usually be making a shot like that. Playing to Silva. The Silva. Running. Just running by all the defenders. And how fitting to end the season, the top goal scorer but I almost, I think more than double, wins it right at the end. And he also makes it four on the day for himself. And a fitting ending to a perfect season for Newport. And that's going to do it for the game and the season. We end up beating four Screen Rovers 5-4. to four, Which is the perfect season for us. Because we figured out who could play at these levels and who can't. And we got some star level talent even to push on to the next couple seasons. Alright, so here we got our last monthly scouting reports of the season. And Australia starts off huge with a player worth 3.2 million. And in Barbados, we got someone point worth 1.5 million. These have been insane so far. And Qatar cannot keep it up. But these have been crazy. Alright, so I've individually changed all seven players' names now. We have Francesco Monti, Fabio Liao, Andrew St. John, Benjamin Yates, who looks insane, Coffee Sama, Vincenzo Garino, and Giuseppe Francini. They all look pretty good, but I still think the best one here by far is Benjamin Yates. Now we're just going to go ahead and look at all the different competitions. We went ahead and won the league by 
24 points at the end of the day. And Ornsley also got promoted with us. And Sheffield Wednesday will be joining us in League One next season. Tottenham beat Arsenal in the All-London FA Cup. And Liverpool beat Man City on penalties in the Carabao Cup. And Oxford has won the Papa John's Trophy. Man City won the Super Cup over Bayern Munich. Liverpool won the Champions League against PSG. Tottenham finally won a trophy against Bayern Leverkusen in the Europa League final. And Sevilla beat Eintracht Frankfurt in the Conference League final. We're going to go ahead and look at all the leagues in England. Man City barely wins the league by one point above Liverpool. And the top four is all separated by five points, so that's kind of crazy. And West Brom, Burnley, and Watford are relegated. Bournemouth wins the championship with 109 points. And Southampton closely following with 107 points. In EFL League 2, Derby County, Swindon Town, and Crawley Town all get promoted automatically. In League 1, PSG wins by 6 points. In the team Huang is loaned out to, FC Nantes finishes in 11th place. In the Bundesliga, FC Bayern Munich wins by 8 points. In the City A, Inter Milano wins the league by 9 points. And in La Liga, Atletico Madrid wins the league by a whopping 11 points. And somehow Getafe popped above Real Madrid in the rankings. In Blake Morris' side, Julian Lira survives in 14th place. Well, the team below this is going to next season. Cadiz finishes rock bottom, so he'll be playing in the Segunda Second Division next season. All right, so now we're going to be going over the stats for all the players during the season. Hale with 46 games played, Bender 45, the Silver 43, 41 for Thompson and Saparov. And listen, it keeps going down. You can see all the players' stuff. And if they're not here, that means they didn't play games. So go all the way down so you can see every player. And for goals, the Silver score is 51, which is out insane, with Y Coco with 16, Glenmore Vassell with 14, and Raul Polo with 12, and a lot of different contributors, like four players with eight goals, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4, 2, and then after that it drops off. But we had a lot of players contribute this season. And with assist, Johannes Bender. It's about the same amount of assists he did last season with 22. But it's nowhere near the amount of goals he had last season. But I think it's because the goals are more widespread. And when it keeps going down, 18 assists for Sparov, 16 for the Silva, 13 for Kadaya, or 10 for Vassell and Orchard. And then 8, 7, 7, 7, 6, 5. Then it keeps, keeps dropping. We're going to keep it scroll down so you can see all of them. And then in top clean, and then, yeah, top clean sheets, here are all of them. You can look at them if you want. I'm not going to say them out loud. But yeah. That's pretty much it for all the stats for the season. So yeah, I think all that's left to say is thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later in season number four of the Newport County Youth Academy career mode. And peace.